Alright, I wasn't supposed to be making a second video today. However, yesterday I found out some news. I was going to make a video quickly of it. But... So, if I haven't told you already, I love the Fairly Odd Parents of the Older Season. Honestly, that, SpongeBob and Jimmy Neutron, were shows I grew up with. Those were my generation of Nicktoons. I firmly remember those three. Yeah, Avatar came in later on, of course, but that was when I was older. In fact, I don't think I watched that show until like 2010 or 11. But, so growing up, I firmly remember what happened. Spongebob was probably one of the most funniest and gag-based shows. I mean, Neutron had some of the best action, better action and the characters, but Fairly Odd Parents was my favorite of the three, and it still is old Fairly Odd Parents. Yes, I like it better than old SpongeBob. I feel like it was funnier. I felt yes, it was formulaic. So was Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb is still a good show. Um, but but what really excelled the series was its specials and. It was awesome at them. No, I am serious. This is the show, I call it the best show, comedy at least, at creating specials, period. Want to know why? Abacastrophe, Channel Chasers, Schools Out the Musical, Fairy Idol. I, that's one I love because of Norm, one of my fairy antagonists. Um, let's see. Even modern specials can be good. Like, I like Wishology. Yes, I do. Tiny Secret Wish was pretty good. However, Season 9 came with an addition to the show that I didn't like. Sparky. I could actually stand poop. The show wasn't nearly as good as it once was, but I could stand poop. I really could. Many say the fall was with him, and I say that, no. It really wasn't with him. It was with Sparky. Season 9's new scrappy do. You want to know what they decided to do? Take the same annoying qualities as Scrappy Doo, hit, give him a stupid, stupid stupidity, give him a bad appearance, give him a tendency to be one of the biggest jerks on this side of Family Guy. Oh, I'll get to that a little more. Um, and. To top it all off, the worst voice in the history of animation. Okay, so let me just get this straight. I watched Mr. Enzo. As you've seen, I stood up for his channel, even, on my own. Um, and I myself have battled copyright. I, and I, I really was in the wrong there. And the video will be back. And the video will be gone for good. My Rose and Scabbard review? Yeah, that's taken down. But, but besides from that, let me just put this. I've heard Bubsy through him. I've heard so many annoying voices through him. And let me tell you, Sparky is by far the worst animated voice in the history of animation. I can, okay, like, sounds in your voice usually don't bother me. In fact, what bothers me in a, your voice, if you're a character, is, um, like, little ticks in your voice. They can really irritate me just because of me being the person I am. Um, like, uh, like, I'll tell you, um, I've been playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon lately, and, um, I don't like Bidoof just because of his voice tick, like, yuck, yuck. Yeah. It's kind of a weird, but that's kind of how I am towards that. But, but Sparky's voice is actually annoying. So as we move on, Fairly Odd Parents Season 10 is adding another character. I'm serious. And 
Poof was, poof was okay. Poop was okay. Sparky was the worst character I've seen in the show on a Nickelodeon show. Um, yes, I hate him more than any of their annoying protagonists. And honestly, they use him way too much. Um, and let's see. Anti Sparky, haven't seen him yet. So here we go down the line even further. They're adding a girl to it. A girl who's going to have to share Timmy's fairy. Okay. First of all, you suck as a show for this. The old seasons were great. I love them. Okay? But you making the decision to add character after character after character with all these characters having no depth whatsoever is wrong. Okay? I'll admit it. It's very, very wrong and annoying. Seriously. Develop. I know you're not a plot-based show, but the, the show has plenty potential to have a slight story arc, even. That's right. I think Barely Odd Parents could easily pull off a story arc. I know it's from early comedy, but it has an unlimited power for a wand, kind of like Star Wars The Voice of Evil. Um, but, um, but really, they could kind of pull something like this off. No, they actually can't. Because, here's the thing, they're constantly bending their own rules. They really are. And this... I personally find, yes, the newer seasons of Spongebob are worse objectively, but subjectively, Fairly Odd Parents' newer seasons are far, far more worse. And... So, what conclusion do we have here, around two? So, this girl is going to share Timmy's fairy. Yeah. So, that happens. I will rip Season 10's premiere to shreds. They think this is a good decision. No, it is not. Messing with the status quo to get viewers in your already dead fan base. In fact, I feel bad for the kids who have grown up in 2008 onward for seeing what this show's become and not knowing what the older seasons are like. This is one of the few shows alongside SpongeBob you actually air. And then whatever crappy Nick's live action shows you have at the time. This is unacceptable. I'm going full on rant mode here, okay? Because this is terrible. Let me explain how much this fails. First of all, unless you can give them an interesting backstory, they're going to end up just as bad as Sparky. And from the way you've described this girl, it seems like a flanderized Lisa. This is unacceptable. You are Hideous for coming up with this. You know what? I don't think the show is ba as bad as Modern SpongeBob then, but I think I could have a new reason to hate this show at season 10 once it premieres. That's right. Now, let's go on to the other things. You're probably gonna use it. You're probably gonna use it as an uh, obvious love and trust because one of what? Because you did that to a random girl in it when there was already two girls established. You're going to throw many girls into this mix. You cannot do that and create a story correctly. I'm going full on rant mode here for a reason. Also, unless you give her a mighty good backstory, we won't, we won't care. Because you have to give her a backstory, if not in the first episode, in fact. Otherwise, it fails. You have to keep, you have to lay down the standards and keep it to your show's 
already large stack of rules. Otherwise, it fails. So, let's see how bad you'll become. Enjoy, because this is the kiss of death. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.